What's up, Star Wars fans and collectors? Welcome back to another 6-inch Black Series Star Wars action figure review. This time we've got Han Solo in his Hoth gear as part of the exclusive, uh, convention exclusive from later in 2018. Um, this one I just got last week, and it's it's a pretty good pack. I uh, just checked out, I just reviewed the Leia figure that comes with him. Um, so if you didn't see that one, you can definitely go check that out after this. But uh, we've got Hoth Han Solo, another iteration of him. Um, this time we've got the brown jacket, for those that are still playing blue jacket, brown jacket. Um, I'm still undecided. I, I, think I'm, I think I'm going with the brown, to be honest. Um, I just, I think it looks a little bit better. Um, I do love the blue. I think they both look good. I can't, I honestly can't decide. The vintage one is blue, so I, I can sort of see why a lot of people want blue. Um, I grew up with the Power of the Force, and that was almost more of a grey. Um, so, whatever. <laughs> um, but they've made full use of the new Bespin Han Solo head sculpt, and they've they've put it on this new, on this, well, it's not a new figure. This is the body and accessories are exactly the same as the Hoth Han Solo that came with the Tauntaun a couple of years ago. Um, obviously the head sculpt is different and he's wearing his hood up, whereas this one he's got this sort of soft, soft draped down hood, which looks okay. Um, personally, I think I would have gone for a molded plastic one. I think that would look nicer. And maybe the option to switch out, I don't know. Um, but just the hood down option would have been great. Just the plastic molded hood, it would have looked, it would have looked fine. Um, I would have, I probably would have gone for that, as opposed to this, which which isn't terrible, but it's not, it's not great either. Um, yeah, like I said, it's uh, it's exactly the same figure. It's had the same, it's the same mold, um, just different colours. That's pretty much it. He's got his blaster pistol, which isn't the typical DL forty four that he had in the New Hope. Um, and Force Awakens and Solo. This is the one he has in Empire and Jedi. Um, I think. <laughs> I need to. I need to fact check myself on the on the DL forty four law. Sometimes I, I do tend to forget. Um, there's only so much room for so much Star Wars in that head of mine. <laughs> but uh, yeah, again, this Han Solo head sculpt is fantastic. And uh, I'll be very tempted to pick one up again um, in the new year when this guy is eventually uh, re-released singularly just to swap out the head for the A New Hope version. Because, uh, yeah, it looks it looks good. Um, and they've had to... I don't know whether they've retooled this one. I can't remember what the Bestman Han Solo one did. But this one's back on the, uh, back on the old hinge. Um, so don't get that full range of motion. They haven't really retooled the rest of the figure. They've just uh, retooled the head, I think. Maybe the ball joint inside of the head is the same. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's still a nice figure. Um, I I hope they revisit Luke now. Uh, the Hoth Luke that we got with the Wampa. Um, he sort of stands out as being a little bit aged now amongst this one and Leia. Uh, he's still, still a good figure, but they could definitely definitely do with an update with the uh, photo real face scan tech paint apps whatever you want to call it um, that would be that would be really cool but again some great great paint work like the, the silvers on the belt there look good the little communicator on the on the wrist there it's nice it's cold weather boots. Again, the buttons and buckles and stuff on the back of the belt there look good. Um, this sort of hood does just slip off. Just leaves him looking a little bit, a little bit missing something there. But uh, yeah, I think I think the molded hood would have sat on there a bit nicer. But uh, this is what we get. There's just a little bit of uh, brown fabric there to resemble the hood. It sits on okay. I'm not going to complain too much. I could, but I'm not going to. <laughs> um, the thing I don't really like is this. I know he's meant to have a bit of a scarf that sort of comes forward and tucks into the tucks into his jacket. Um, they've almost done it there. That's almost molded in there, but he does have a bit of a bigger scarf that does sort of tuck in, but it doesn't really work here. Um, you could probably tweak that or glue it up or. Or something just to make it look a little bit better but trim it up 
but uh, I don't think I'm going to worry too much about it. But that is Han Solo. I should have got the other one out for a bit of a comparison, but they are very similar, and I think probably most people have got that one by now. So you can definitely check that out yourself. And there's tons of reviews on it on, on the YouTube. So I've got one more one more review coming up. I've got Lando Calrissian in his skiff guard disguise. So I'll be uh, I'll be chucking that one up not too soon after this one. So stay tuned for that one. And then I will be doing my top ten for the year. Top ten six inch black series figures for 2018. I'm excited. It's going to be a hard it's going to be a hard choice, but uh, it should be fun either way. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. Any comments and feedback, drop them down there below. And I'll see you on the next video. Until then, may the force be with you.